In this video, I want to share with you a new feature that Kiddo has, and that is using AI for product backgrounds. So this is a cool new feature that is great for mockups. I'm going to show you how to use it and how to use it for mainly mugs and t-shirts. Let's go. everyone, thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, we're gonna talk about backgrounds, more specifically product backgrounds in Kittle using AI. So you can change the backgrounds dynamically depending on what you pick on there. They have several ones that are standard and then you can also put in some prompts for the background. So I'm gonna show you how it works. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's in beta right now. I think it did, did just start it and they're gonna to continue to add more and more stuff. So. Uh, I think this is really good for posts like uh, those on Instagram, as well as mockups. If you're gonna do mockups on places like your Shopify store or your Etsy store, you can do it all in Kittle now, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's get into Kittle right now, and I'll show you some of the tips and tricks that I found out how to do with this new feature. All right, so here we are on Kittle. First things first, we're gonna need a mockup. So you're gonna, when you design, a, create a design, you're gonna have to put it on either a t-shirt or a mug. So let's just pick a design here. Let's make pretend that we did it. Um, let's see, what's a good one? Hey, this is a pretty good one. I'm gonna do one that's good on a mug as well as a t-shirt. Uh, this could be a good mug or t-shirt. Okay, let's make pretend we did this one. I'm gonna use this design. Now I could go in here on Kittle and you know change the words and things, whatever. Like all of this is editable, editable, right? Like. Um, Let's say uh, whatever beach. Um, what if it was Myrtle Beach? This isn't Myrtle, but you get the idea. I can change it, right? Okay, and it's not in Italy, but Myrtle Beach is in Italy. So let's do mock-up first. So um, there's lots of free mock-ups on here. You can see here, I can do uh, walls, t-shirts, lots of hoodies, tops. We got the flat ones. I'm gonna do one of the flat ones. I'll show you all of these. Uh, I can do shorts as well. So any one of these, so really easy, right? And they even have this one, which is really cool. We can do some of these mock-ups, which is really cool on, uh, on like Etsy and uh, if you wanna do Pinterest or anything like that. But we could also do, so this is cool, but I'm, I'm gonna save this one. So let's, let's download this mock-up first. We can change the color of the uh, T-shirt as well. So let's say we wanted uh, more of a yellow T-shirt could do that, or maybe even a blue t-shirt, right? Okay, maybe more light blue, like this. Great, I'm gonna download this mock-up. I'm gonna test something out. So we got this. Uh, we can also do one with nothing on it, which is kind of cool too, so let's do that. And this one we can make bigger. And move it up there. And let's say we want a different color on this one. Um, could even go darker, but uh, let's see. Yeah, something like that. Green, cool. All right, whatever color you want. I'm gonna download this as well. And let's go uh, do the mugs. So I'm gonna show you all cups and mugs. We could do this one or this one. Let's do this one. So you can see it changed the color of the mug too, which is really cool, right? Um, and this could be a cool mug, right? And let's say the mugs are white, typically they're white. So we'll do that. All right, download that one. Now you may be thinking, well, I'm doing my designs here, but I'm selling it on Printful. Well, we can go to Printful and download those mockups too. So let me show you that. So I did this design recently, putting it on Printful, selling it on my Shopify store. Now I can go in here and click on this and I can go download this mockup, right? So if I want this blue one or if I want this white one, whatever I want, I can do that. So I'm gonna download the blue one just so you can see. Downloads, very easy, and it's gonna download the mockup too. So this is cool because it will download the exact shirt that you're doing. So if you're selling a Bella Canvas shirt from Printful on Etsy, you have that mockup right here and then you can add to it. So let's do that. So let's go back to Kittle now and I'll show you how to use that new feature, that AI product background. All right, now that we have all the mockups, I have the t-shirt mockups from Printful as well as from Kittle and the mug mockups, we're gonna go here to the new AI tool 
It's called AI Product Backgrounds. They're working on another one too, Vector Generator. Excited for that, but this one's the only one that's ready here in AI Tools. I'm gonna go here. You can see what it does, it's pretty cool. So this one does packaging and it just lays the packaging on different backgrounds. So you can be on a table and this is all through AI, which is pretty crazy, right? I, um, you can see right here, it goes through all of them. Same product, in this case, um, they're doing the bottle, but look at that, I'm just generating all the different variations. And so you upload your photo, which we just did. Uh, you select your, create your screens, which is we're gonna do now, and then you can just download it and use it. So look at that, so cool. So I'll show you how to do it. Uh, these are some ways that you can do it. Like I said, social media, really cool product mockups, uh, like in Etsy and, and your own store. And you can do your online store, like you can use the background to create ads and, and things like that. So. Uh, let's do here, I think it's try now, okay. And we're gonna upload uh, all of them, but let's do one at a time. I think I'll do the mug first, let's see if I can find it. Uh, art forward, I should have labeled these. I think we did the mug second, didn't we? Or maybe third. I think it was third, yeah, good. All right, so first things first, it's gonna remove the background automatically. So you can see that's what it's doing, it's spinning here. And then we can pick one of these preset ones, right? You got Minimal, Warm Studio, you got Nature, which is really cool. It already has a mug one there. And I'm sure they're gonna add more and more, but those are Nature right there. And here are Materials. We're gonna try some of these. Uh, let's do, I don't know, let's just do Warm Studio here. And then we hit Generate Background. So this is a automatic one. Uh, no prompts involved yet. I'm gonna show you how to do that later, but as you can see it's thinking about it, thinking about it, and it's gonna put it down here. You can see I started playing around with it with my other stuff. Uh, I, I've worked on it a ton, so I, you can see right here, and then I just download it. Um, and that looks pretty cool. And let me do another one that's a little more, um, you know, more involved. So I got moss, mountain's pretty cool. So let's try mountain. And I'll download these. It, it's not this small, it's actually bigger and I'm gonna show you what it looks like, but I'll, I'll do two just so you can see the difference. It's still using the same uh, mug, but it's gonna change the background. All right, so let me download these two, this one and this one, and you can see it in high res. All right, so first the mountain, look at that. It puts it on a rock already, like it's been sitting there, which is really cool. And then this one, you can see it's also sitting on there, but it's just more, it's like a studio shot um, just on that. So pretty cool, right? So you can put this, like I said, use it on social media uh, if you're selling mugs, or you can do it on Etsy if you're selling mugs. Really cool, have a different background every time and you don't have to uh, worry about it. So uh, let me do the t-shirts now. So let's start with the basic t-shirt. I'm gonna replace this one. Uh, I think the basic t-shirt was this one. Right, so this is the one we did in Kittle. It's gonna remove the background again. And let's do another one. Oh, we did nature, let's do materials. Let's see if that works. All right, so the background's done. I'm gonna hit golden satin and hit generate. I'm excited to see what this one is. It's always a surprise what it's gonna turn out to be because it's not exactly this. Cause it's kind of like this, but because it's AI, it's gonna do something different every time. Oh, there you go. So that's the satin. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna type in the prompt and I'm gonna do a wooden background. Oh, maybe a white, white wooden um, background. All right. See how that works. And you can put anything here. I think the wooden ones are the ones that I see the most on Etsy. So I wanted to try that out and see what they do. I, I had some other ones down here that came out really well. Let's see how this one does. Oh, cool. It's not exactly white. I wish it was painted. Maybe I have to say painted white. A wooden background painted white. Oh, I'll try that next time, but I'll download these two so you can see what they look like. Oh, so this one's the golden satin, but it has wood on it. Maybe I had the wood prompt in there already. I'm not sure, but this is another wood one, which is really cool, right? So let me try and see if the other one works. I didn't try this one before, the one with all the stuff in it. So let's try replace this. I wanna see if this is gonna do it. So remember this has all the stuff on it. 
already. But let's see if it just removes the gray background and we can put a wood behind it. That's my idea. Oh, it didn't. It removed everything. But that's okay. We're going to do a wooden background painted white. I don't know if this is going to work. Crossing fingers. Hey, I might not know painted white. It might put paint. Let's see. I'm going to try another one to uh, splattered paint background that might, that might make fun. Oh, interesting. That's, that's kind of cool. Um, let me do a splattered paint background. I'm really guessing with these and you could actually put splattered paint background. I think there is some uh, watercolor stuff on Kittle anyway as background. So I don't know if you, I would need to do this. Oh, kind of interesting. I'm going to download these and see what they look like. Oh, kind of an interesting background. It gave me flowers and white, um, wood, I mean, wood panels and I'm not sure what that is, but it's kind of interesting. And this gave me some paint splotches. So if we zoom in and not have that, I think it'll still be pretty cool. So that came out good. Uh, let's do one more. And that is the t-shirts from Printful. So let's replace this. Uh, let's see, I think it was this one. Yeah, so that's my Printful one. Let's see if it removes the background, which I know it does because I, I tested it before. And let's do a background. So um, let's see, uh, Japanese, since this is Japanese, um, cherry blossom background. Oh, um, scenery. Let's do that. Oh, cool. I'll download this one so you can see it. And there you go. That's cool with some flowers and that kind of do that. That's neat. So you can see it can do, it could do flowers. It could do backgrounds, wood backgrounds as far as scenery and things like that. So there's one more thing that I want to show you. Uh, that you can do in Kittle that you may not have thought of and that is to put extra photos on top of the photos that we just did in Kittle. Let me show you. All right, so I created a new project in Kittle. I dragged in that shirt that we did the mock-up with the background. Now let's add some things on here. Like you see on Etsy, you notice sometimes they have pants in there, sometimes they have glasses on there and things like that just to add some more interest to it. So we can do that in Kittle. So let's go to photos because we have the background remover, we can come in here and we can do uh, jeans, right? For example. Now let's just look for jeans that lay flat. Um, we could do this one right here. And then we'll do the background remover. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other ones. This is just the first one I found. All right? And then we make the jeans about as big as what the shirt should be. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's about right. Right. And then we can turn it for some interest like this and just put it right there. Like it's overlaying on the, on here. And if you want to add some like drop shadows, right. To make it look like it's actually on there. I think this might actually be too big. Let's try that. Right. Isn't that cool? Let's try another one. So let's do flowers. Let's do one that looks like it's laying on a table. Okay, I found this one. This might be okay. Let's do the background remover. Boom. And we can make the flower bigger. Right? And turn it, or turn it this way maybe. Just to add some interest, don't forget the drop shadow. Boom. And the drop shadow doesn't have to be really uh, strong, it can be lighter it can be a uh, lighter color even you know um, like a gray just keep it in the grays area right okay one more one more let's do glasses remember look for one that's laying flat like this one and background remover and make it bigger, boom, right? Now you could put hats on here, you could put shoes on here, pants, whatever you want, it can always change. And these are the things that 
uh, you look for on Etsy, right? If you go on Etsy and look for t-shirt mock-ups, you'll see stuff like this with different things. So you can get inspiration there and use different photos. This may not be the best flower, but I think this pants works really well and so does the glasses. So uh, notebooks would be good here too. I think that that can add interest. Remember we did it with the uh, that upload. Um, this one right here had shoes on it and and things, books and things like that. So that one already had some uh, but this one we're, we're doing with the background, right? With the different backgrounds. So I think this will just get better and better. Um, this is, they just starting on here and as they get more feedback on what to put in here, what kinds of backgrounds, what kind of photos add to this, I think this can be really powerful to get you some really good mock-ups for Etsy, for posts, and for all of those kinds of things, your Shopify store and so on. So that is the new feature on Kittle, the new background, the creator. Uh, I think it's really cool. The cool thing about it is it's AI. So the possibilities are endless. There's uh, unlimited amount of things that you can add on there. Just play with it with the prompts. Uh, you can see that it did different things. Uh, you may want to save some of your favorite prompts, prompts as you as you find out what works really good. I think uh, having those backgrounds, those wooden backgrounds are pretty cool. If you can figure out how to do like a really white painted one, haven't done it yet, but I think those natural ones look, work really well. So have fun with this one, create lots of different backgrounds. Uh, and hopefully this helps you get more eyeballs onto your products um, with posts and with your mockups on Etsy and or Shopify if you have either one of those. Thanks again for watching. I'm gonna put uh, this video right here about Kiddo uh, AI, some other Kiddo AI video that I did here that you can see how to use some of that. Uh, we, we went over a lot of it today, but I think there's more that you can do with Kiddo. Thanks again for watching, and as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.